Hi, this is Travis from Tenno Farms. Got the new motor for the washing machine here on eBay. Only paid about 50 bucks for it, so that's pretty good for a used motor. It is the original equipment. This one is about a year newer based on the serial number. But uh, it came off of a running machine as it was listed anyway, so it should work well. And just in case, I've also got a new capacitor here with the bracket because I noticed the uh, little prongs on my bracket were cracked off. And then also a new water level switch here. And I, I think the, my water level switch is probably okay, but those melted wires made me wonder about it. I think the motors is what caused the problem, but we'll see. So I'm going to place the, just the motor first, and if that fixes everything, then great. If that doesn't fix everything, then I'm going to do the capacitor and then I'm going to do the water switch until everything's good. So here we are, and sorry that this video is going to be a little awkward, I've got the flu, but dirty laundry waits for no man here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, install this here, and then see if it works. Alright, so the first step is we need to pop the water pump off the front here. Sometimes you can get it with your bare hands, sometimes you got to get a screwdriver under there. I'm going to need a screwdriver for that top one. Well, I can't do this and hold the camera. So you get the picture. Alright, we took the water pump off, hung it out of the way there. And now we're going to do the electrical connector. Oh, we're going to take these little brackets out of the way here to hold the water pump on. I took a screwdriver to this already and popped it so I can just take it off. So our electricity is unhooked from the motor. And then our next step is right here. Take these little screws out of here and then the motor will come free from the transmission. Alright, so these are quarter inch bolts not too hard to get loose there and then we pop these out just like we did the ones on the water pump and then the motor is free from the transmission assembly it'll just pull right off like that and you'll see the coupler here that holds them together so we just pull that apart and then we put the new coupler on the new motor and then install in the opposite of the removal okay so the motor is detached from the transmission you can see that rubber ring I was telling you about that coupler that's in there and how the teeth between the two plastic pieces go together you can see that was starting to get a little wear on that top left corner. So I'll probably have to replace this rubber ring here tear it before too terribly long too because it's starting to wear. And just make sure when you're putting your new motor in, you get all these out of here. It looks like this one stayed behind. They're just rubber insulators. You can see they're on the motor. Three of them are on the motor. One of them stayed on the thing. The new motor has all of its with it. can't see it from where I'm sitting here. So I'm going to take these off of there. And I need to take this coupler off the motor here and reuse it on the new one so I can put it right back into that rubber bracket. Alright, I swapped the coupler over to the new motor and it's ready to go put into the machine. Alright, the hardest part is done. Got these brackets back on there and got the screws in them. Now we're going to hook the electrical connection back up. Alright, so we're all hooked up there. We got a good snap on there. Now we're going to put the, the water pump back on it. <clears throat> and that just lines up with this uh, post here. 
and if you need to turn it at all, you can kind of just turn this thing here to get it to line up. So that's what I need to do there is match everything up. There we go. So now the water pump is on and then just have to put the brackets back on it to hold it on. Okay, we're all back together now. So I'm going to set this thing back up and see if it works or if I'm going to have to come back down here and put a new capacitor in. Well, all it's doing is humming and not spinning. So the capacitor must be bad too. Maybe the motor wasn't even bad, it's just the capacitor. We'll see. All right, so I'm back under here. There you can see the <coughs> sorry old capacitor. So I just have to get it disconnected from the wires and then hook the new capacitor up to it, and then we'll try again. So it turns out I might have an entirely different problem here. I went ahead and uh, took the agitator out and then dropped the transmission out because I started looking at it, and it just seemed like it just wasn't turning. It wouldn't turn with the new motor, it wouldn't turn with the new capacitor. So I thought, you know what, maybe there's something going on with the brake drum. So this is the transmission. You can see the small brake here on the transmission. But then when we get underneath, you can see the larger brake right here on the bottom of the drum. And this thing here goes back and forth. Um, clockwise is locked, counterclockwise puts pressure against this spring, relieves these brake drums here and lets it spin. So <coughs> I don't know if, if this thing was stuck, maybe, I'm not really sure, but I got it turning by hand here. So I'm going to put it all back together and see if it works now. I actually took the electrical connection, hooked it back up to the original motor but with the new capacitor and the original motor appears to still be good. It'll run outside of the, the washer. So maybe this drum was just stuck. Maybe that's what's going on. I'm going to put it all back together here now and, and see if it works. All right, that was it. Um, it was the drum that was stuck. I just ran it for a second and it went into spin like I wanted it to. Of course, I forgot to hook the uh, drain hose back up to the wall because I was just testing it out and water just shot out everywhere. But it appears that the washer is working again so I'm going to put it all back together now and then run a, a load, just an empty light load through it and make sure it processes all the way. But I think it's good. So it's got the original motor, it does have the new capacitor in it. I went ahead and went with that because of the broken bracket on the original. And. Um, We'll see if I still need to replace the water level sensor or if it works okay after I run a cycle through it. I'll put a thing in here at the end and let you know. There we go, all fixed. It's spinning now and then I'm going to run a full cycle through just to be sure. But uh, it looks like everything's working okay. It was a stuck drum. So I'm going to put the, these guards back on it after I, I finish up doing a full cycle just to make sure everything's okay. But this is what, it wouldn't spin at all before, so I'm pretty sure it's fixed. Thanks for watching.